Hi there, it's Kevin Benedict, Independent Mobility Analyst and SAP Mentor. We're here live at, in Las Vegas at the Enterprise Mobility Exchange, and I have the privilege of spending time with Dimitri Krasik with Click Software. Thanks for um, sharing some thoughts with us today. My pleasure, Kevin, and you got my last name right. All right, yeah, I don't always do that, as viewers know. So, um, HTML5, I want to know what you're seeing from your perspective because you're in the sales area of Click Software and you're seeing you're talking to a lot of customers and you guys are I've seen some announcements on stuff you're doing around HTML5 so why don't you start out telling us what you guys are doing to support HTML5 and then what are you seeing from customers and end users sure Kevin so actually very excited to tell you about it because um, Essentially, about three years ago, we started investing in this field, and we've now developed quite a solid uh, platform on HTML5. So we've taken a Windows client, we've put it into a web-based solution that can go offline, can take GPS information from the device, so it's a proper mobile solution. Now, our enterprise is using it, right? I have a utility client. I take care of our existing customers yeah. on the West Coast. I have a utility client. They implemented Panasonic Toughbooks. And they found we have a group of collectors that do very simple work. They come to the customer location, they do some billing, okay, and they go on to the next place. They don't need this kind of ruggedized device. So they went with us, they did the evaluation, and they're now going to be implementing iPhone with our HTML5 mobile solution for that group. Okay? Mm. So perhaps the first utility in the U.S. that's really going to be actually implementing HTML5 solutions for their field force. So let me ask you the same question I've asked some analysts yesterday. In three years, what percentage of enterprise apps do you think will be written for HTML5 or in HTML5? Well, Kevin, you should turn the camera around to you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I can tell you about what I'm seeing with yeah. my customers. And the, the interesting thing is um, th th this, if, even at the relatively early stage where the solution, the, the technology is at right now, yeah. it's able to do a lot. So we have a, a client that does oil refinery work, yes. very complex asset work, and we just finished doing a proof of concept that convinced them that they're going to be not using Panasonic Toughbooks, but tablets with complex journey management and asset information running on our HTML5 solution. Wow. Now, a lot of the vendors that I've spoken to over the last year are kind of going in phases with HTML5 where they come out with a proprietary container client and then they use some HTML5 within that container. Are you guys doing that strategy? Or? No. We, we looked at the very uh, essential pieces that every major um, smartphone and tablet provider is doing within their modern browsers. And we've harnessed that and we've built a native HTML5 solution that uses the offline capabilities and the device capabilities. And this is what we're going to into the future. Ah, very good. So you're, not only are you guys as a vendor supporting this and adopting this, but you're seeing customers and successful proof of concepts and projects moving forward. Absolutely. I think anybody, no matter how complex right now, should be looking at this platform as an option. And we're happy to show them the way we've shown some of these quite complicated um, clients how that can work for them. Very good. Well, Dimitri, I want to thank you very much for sharing your insights with the viewers. It's always a pleasure.